Where was that? That AK? Was that cottage? That's actually where I want to go. It's two guys. Friends are gonna hold the flank. Yeah, it might have been a mistake indeed. He's fucked up big time. I know he has a friend to the left though. He's baiting. I think I saw your friend, did you? When it comes to looting Shoreline, I've made millions just looting the various points of interest around the resort without actually going in. There are many hidden stashes all throughout the map to hit as you go, but the main thing I do is pick up these four keys. The HEP station storage key for power station, which we'll touch on a bit later, and the cottage back door key, cottage safe key, and SMW car key. All these are quite cheap except for the cottage back door key, which you'll also need for a quest, but it's also worth the investment when you can, especially earlier in the wipe when most people don't have it yet and you can easily get into plenty of safe loot. For this route I generally work my way through the houses in the village and the cabins area for plenty of jackets, hidden stashes, duffel bags, toolbox loot, and more. Then hit up the cottages for four total safes, several jackets, PC spawns, and the SMW car which often has some nice loot in the trunk for a key that costs almost nothing. After that I go up to bus terminal, then power station for several more scav spawns, loot containers, and especially the HEP station storage key at the top which has three weapon boxes, lots of loose attachments, and an intelligence spawn. And finally, through weather station for more scav spawns, another safe, PC, loose tech spawns, which can sometimes have a graphics card on the floor, and of course hit any known stashes along the way until I'm full. If you spawn on the road to custom side of the map, just run the route in reverse and leave on either path to lighthouse or tunnel. As you probably know by now, not all plans in EFT go as smoothly as we'd like, but generally sticking to this route has been incredibly lucrative for me and you'll soon see why. Oh, he's doing a uh, different Punisher. Oh, I need that. Actually, I don't think I really need that. That's nice, yeah. I don't know what's in it. Oh, he's got A56A1, or A55A1. I gotta go pick up, uh... I gotta go pick up... the rest of his mags. 3,000 rubles is not better than a diary. Okay. This guy's a lot of good stuff, actually. Jeez, I can't take all this. Let me throw out what I will never take. I'll eat that later. I don't need the kite, it's pretty cheap. I actually, the bear dog tag is super valuable to me. These are kind of a bitch to find later in the wipe when you need them for a task. So let's just do this for now. Come back in for that.
Okay. This guy's full as well. Oh, not quite. Alright. Got you, I got you. Um. Alright, I can probably just throw these. I think I have enough good ammo between the two of them. Which I'd like to hang on to. Typically, after a firefight like this, I like to carry all the loot back to a safer location to sort through since as a solo, there's no one to watch your back. But my looting spree was far from over. After packing up everything I wanted, including stripping the attachments and good ammo from both guns, I headed up toward bus station in search of more scavs to kill for a quest and, you know, more loot. Oh my god. A shadow. What the fuck, dude? I don't think you guys even saw that. That startled me. Thought it was a dude. Someone's in there. Yeah, it looked like a guy on the rocks to you too? Okay. Thank you for helping me not feel totally crazy. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, man? It startled me. Another one? Better than 70 euro. Alright. I mean, I could stack the Wartech rig for one slot, I guess. It's, it's, it's the rig way. Sure. Sure. Hydration's toast. I think we just gotta go. It's not a drink. Yeah, Sigma posted about that today. I guess she bought stock in Activision late last year when they were tanking. Now it's probably going way the fuck up. All right? Looking for drinks mostly. Oh, that's pretty good too. Whatever someone could I guess. Damn it! Too much good loot. Fuck it. I'm too greedy, man. I gotta have those. Okay. I gotta get inside the cottages. <laughs> I give her the bits too. All right, kitchen right here. No, oh, that dehydrates me, bro. Fuck. All right, I gotta move around a little faster here. Don't need to clear this house because it only has one entrance and I just unlocked it. So there's no danger of anyone being here. I need CPU fans and uh, CPUs. Oh, uh, yeah, link. Two gentlemen breaches all doors. Okay. What the fuck? Do I have any keys in here that are garbage? Is 218 garbage? I feel like 218 is probably like not that bad. Oh, you know what? I'll get rid of the matches for you. You happy? The guy that was talking about the matches. <laughs> Shit, sleep. I do want to go out the front door and see if they hit the duffel bag, though. Not everyone does. Damn it. You're not having any luck with drinks. 
That's right, I got the car key, what of it? As I continued to dehydrate, I checked every kitchen, duffel bag, and jacket in the area for drinks with no luck. Since we were full of loot and near extract anyway, I topped off every last open slot of my inventory and headed out of the tunnel. Since I still had a bunch of outdoor quests to do, I decided to switch it up to a medium range DMR and headed back in. This is a great spawn for me, actually. Hypothetically. That's why. Man, it's been such a strikeout on this spot. That spot right there can spawn just about any tech item. Someone's gonna be real confused when they open that and see a DVD player. <laughs> All right, um, the other thing I have to mark is uh, right about where I'm pointing. It's like back over there. I guess I gotta run across the fucking field. Just obscure my vision real quick. Whoa. All reliable. Yeah. Hypothetically, we should be behind all the people who spawned here now. Because of the long way I wrapped around to do the jammers. Is that a dead guy? How'd he die? Oh. Took his dog tags. I don't know. Probably looted this then. I was a player. Oh god, I can't glass all this. This is risky. That's a player. If he's the one who killed the other guy, but I can never confirm because I don't have the other guy's dog tag. Sometimes Sanitar is literally right here, just sitting against this event on this side, so I always check. Okay, we got at least one scab. Very good sign. That's not a good sign. That's a sniper scab on the ground there. Did you guys see it? You had a I cup SKS or, or AK, I mean. Not an SKS. Kind of awkward. <laughs> Headshot one scav twice with M80. What the fuck? That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like that headset. I wanna wear these. 
It's like a rifle or something. These are pretty valuable, the Archangel mags. It's probably pretty valuable too. I might take it out for science, see if it's worth anything. Yeah, that guy's got, uh, there's another fucking Mosin right there. See it? Guess I'll keep the scope. It's actually not worth a whole lot. I want this fucking thing again. Yeah, the snipers fell though. It's pretty cool. This one too. I don't want to carry the weight of that thing. We're gonna go to cottage now. Probably get in the shrubbery just a little bit more. Shrubbery? Isn't that from Monty Python and the Holy Grail? The knights who say knee. Start talking about a shrubbery or something. <laughs> it's been a long time. I don't remember the quote anymore. It is? Okay. <laughs> That's it. A shrubbery. <laughs> <laughs> Just such a ridiculous way of saying it. Deep cut there. Yeah, dude. I'll bite your legs off, yeah. <laughs> How does that guy not just fucking die, dude? Both of his, like, main leg arteries are just cut off, like... <laughs> He's just like, eh, it's fine. This'll be my little sniper rig, what do you guys think? People with OCD will appreciate it. was worth coming in here for. <laughs> uh, mega yoink? <laughs> wow. Not as good as the other coin, but take it. God damn it. That's a player. <laughs> it's true though, Hughes. I legit have no idea where that fucking guy is. None. God 
Okay. Well, now I suspect I know where he is. Stacked ox bag though. After a little more looting, I extracted at the tunnel and headed back in. Any map can be a good loot run if you know, if you have a game plan and you know where to look and all that. Can I have it? Nice. I'm gonna take this really wide berth around the back. So I should be behind all spawns from this side, depending on what the person who spawned up here did, if there was someone. Oh, I guess I could pick up that motor controller if I can find it this time. I didn't look all that hard for it last time. I told you we'd be behind him. That was the hope, anyway. What do you guys think? Should I go loot it? Does he have a friend? He really looked like a solo to me. sense of like how many people are on the server if it's like a that guy spawned pretty close to me the fact that we weren't spread out more makes me think there could have been another one up here at least which is fine i just gotta be careful i'm actually gonna go under the rock and up so that the rock is covering me from behind right because now i'm covered from that giant field I already made noise, I'm just gonna push this. Safe is hit. Might be why. Is that a bear or a oh it is a bear. Dude, bear dog tags are so fucking hard to get later in the wipe. I kid you not, when you need them for tasks. I don't like to loot anything that's not at least 10k per slot. Ideally. It's like the broken LCD is not worth 20k, I'll probably drop that for instance. Speaking of which, just get rid of it now. Bears are killing on sight, right? Damn, that's a nice piece. I'll be curious to see if this encampment is actually clear. You got really excited, yeah. For the value. Can I wear that? Probably not. Oh. I can wear it with that wall? What does that look like? Yeah, dude, it pops out. <laughs> That's sick as hell. That's one. I hope there's another sniper. 
I know there's no PMCs on this hill. I don't even have to clear it. That guy would have been blasting him. That didn't finish my quest. I only had to kill two more. What the fuck? Hold up. There's a scab here. Or maybe a player. Wow, if that was a player, he would have killed me and my gun kind of got all funky there. Yo, what happened? Got a dead you sick. Is he looted? A scab killed him with a ketter. Wait, no. Yeah, that's a scab. Damn, dude. That sucks. This guy have the ketter? Oh, he does. <laughs> this guy killed that PMC. Damn, dude, that sucks. Alright, it's gotta be done. That guy was wheezing. So now we know of three dead PMCs. We killed two and that scav killed one. I haven't heard a lot else. I imagine there's somebody just like freely looting the resort or something. I don't have any resort keys on me, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Yo, Renegade Rackham, thanks for the prime. Welcome. I appreciate it. Alright, fourth time in here today. Anything good yet? 417 barrel. Quiet. I have something in it. I bet that's M993. I haven't seen it yet. Yep. Okay. This key is uh, HEPS, H E P S, or H E P. It's HEPS for sure, but it's HEP Station Storage Room Key. What's this one? AR 15. It's not that good. Toss it. It's nothing. It's like 40k. Yeah, it's it's 100% worth. Oh, here's that ammo that uh, Tetsu was talking about. Durability burn, 35%, heat, crazy high, 20% chance to cause bleeding. So this is like really good ammo, huh? 7M40 with the armor pen. Minus 20 recoil. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, I see the value of it. Also, this is pretty good. But I get what you're saying, it might be below BSMO as far as like pen goes. Give it to me! Yeah, I'm putting stuff in my inventory for XP. So see, I got 10 for, for searching this. I haven't picked up a power bank yet, so I'll get bonus for picking it up. It was only four, but still, you know. Worth. It's also worth more than the dog tag. This can go on it, I think, right? Yeah. Little snack.
Bullet punch, thank you for the prime. Thanks for the two months. Ooh, that fight got me shaking, boys. That was a good one. Oh, is that G Rage? That was a good fight. Fuck, dude. I didn't think anyone was in there, man. Ooh, that was a good fight. You must have heard me run right in. I, I ran right in and checked the duffel in the garage. And then I heard you, like, on wood. And I was like, fuck, there's a guy in the unlockable ones. So that means someone that actually has a fucking key, which probably means someone who has some gear. Usually somebody who bothers to come and loot that has gear. So then I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> which, which kit is not yours? I'll leave yours. I don't think anyone else is coming in here, dude. Which gun is yours, dude? Probably the one in your hands, right? So probably that one's good to take. All right, stuff a little bit of it up my butt. Leave his stuff though. I got. I need to get out. Oh, he fucked up my rig. Take this one. Probably do that anyway, right? My cat is banging on my door. <laughs> he wants me to go feed him. I'm gonna feed him after this raid. <laughs> He's literally like rattling the door. <laughs> like, hey, you motherfucker. <laughs> you got a slap plate. Was that yours? Hold on, I'm picking it up for XP. It was? All right, wait a minute. Uh, oh, he's a nice guy. We'll drop it for him. All right, hold up. Let's throw this for him. Meds no good. Oh, the pile of meds. All right. Hide it from the pesky player skids. You feel me? Yo. Oh shit. I'd rather use this. I looted up a little more in the surrounding area and headed out to tunnel once more, another great haul. I'm currently working on my fourth Escape from Tarkov movie now with a special guest, so look for that in the coming weeks. And make sure you boop the like button and follow me on Twitch for weekly content like this, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.